So in this section of the course, we're going to download and install the right version of the JDK, and that's the Java Developers Kit, and then the program we're going to use to write our Java programs, which is IntelliJ IDEA. Now, downloading and installing the right version of Java has become a little more complicated due to Oracle now releasing new versions of Java every six months, instead of what used to happen when a new version only came out once every two to three years. But don't worry, because I'm going to make this as painless as possible for you as we move forward. So which version of Java or the JDK should you install? Well, in general, my advice is to download the most recent version of Java. Now, I'm recording this video just before the imminent release of Java 10. And as you can see on this download page, which I'll bring up now, there's actually two versions for you to download, Java 9 and Java 8. When Java 10 is released, you'll most likely see the removal of Java 9 on this page, replaced by Java 10, and Java 8 still available for download. Now the reason for this is that Java 8 is the current LTS version of Java, and LTS stands for Long Term Support. So Oracle, who are the owners of Java, are providing updates to this version until at least January 2019. Now on the other hand, Java 9, well that's already had its final release in January 2018 and will actually be retired in March 2018, literally any day now as I'm recording this, and it's going to be replaced by Java 10. So Java 10, when it comes out, will then itself be replaced by the next long-term support version of Java, which is Java 11, coming out in September 2018. So as you can see, most versions of Java will be retired within six months of their release, with the exception being the LTS, or long-term support versions. So currently Java 8 has long-term support, and Java 11 is proposed to have LTS when it comes out later in the year. Now, if all this sounds confusing, blame Oracle. Seriously though, when in doubt, just download the latest version of Java that you see on this page when you visit. Now the installation videos will go through this in detail, so don't think you need to install that now. I do suggest you watch the installation videos for your operating system in this section of the course. Now speaking of those installation videos, you'll actually see Java 8 referred to in those videos. But in general again, my recommendation is to install the very latest version of Java you see on the page when you go and visit. And something else to blame Oracle for here is that there is an exception to this if you've got a 32-bit version of Windows or Linux. Now in your situation, you'll have to download and use the 32-bit version of Java 8. Now the reason for that is the newer Java versions do not have a 32-bit version available for download. And apparently Oracle, in their infinite wisdom, have decided not to offer that from any version uh, of Java from Java 9 onwards. But that's the only exception. In all other cases, just go ahead and download the very latest version of Java. Now, this video will be updated as needed when Oracle changes anything, and hopefully they won't change anything else now. But do note though, irrespective of what version of Java you download and use, you can follow along and get the maximum value from this course. Everything's going to work fine. You won't have a problem with your version of Java. And in addition, as new versions of Java come out, I'll actually be adding a section dealing with the changes specific to that version of Java and the changes made to it uh, for those of you who want to know what has changed and uh, be able to take advantage of some of the features available in those new versions. So in summary, so pick the very latest version of Java that's available for you when you get through to that download page and refer to the installation videos in this section for more details. The only exception, again, is Windows and Linux users, if you've got a 32-bit version of your operating system, you'll need to download Java 8 only, but again, refer to your installation videos for more details. And finally, irrespective of the version of Java that you download and install, you still will be able to make full use of all videos in this course. So it's now time to move on. Your next steps now is to watch the separate installation videos for your operating system, now there's one for Windows, another for Mac, and a third for Linux. And you want to do that for both the installation of the Java Development Kit, the JDK, as well as the IDE. And in case you're wondering, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which is really just a fancy word for the program we're going to be using to write Java code in this course, and that's IntelliJ IDE. So once you do that with both of those installations, follow along, you'll be good to go and be able to start writing some Java code. 
So the Windows installation video for the Java Development Kit is coming up immediately after this video. So if you're a Mac or Linux user, you want to skip ahead to the relevant video, again in this section of the course, to get started for your operating system. Otherwise, if you're a Windows user, watch the next video and uh, we'll make a start.